Hello, ladies. Happy Monday and uh, happy New Year's Eve. I'm so excited to be jumping on here with you this morning. Um, I'm excited that today is New Year's Eve. Uh, tomorrow is New Year's. There's so much exciting things going on this time of year uh, as we start to welcome in the new year. So I just want to say, first of all, uh, happy New Year's Eve. And then second, I want to thank you for being here uh, with me for this five-day countdown to the new year, working through some exercises that um, I use for myself that I really enjoy. Um, so I just want to thank you for being a part of the five-day countdown. And if you missed any of the training videos, they are all on this page, um, as well as the posts. So feel free, um, you know, even if it is after the new year. If you want to go back through and work through any of these to really help set yourself up for the new year, um, they are on this page. You can work back through them um, and they will be on here for you. So, uh, oh, happy new year, Krista. And good morning, Diane. Thank you for being here, ladies. Um, my hair's a little crazy. There we go. <laughs> uh, and uh, I apologize about the the color of my background and, and everything. Um, I'm working on moving my office around so that from now on my videos hopefully will the color will look a little bit better um, and I'm upgrading to a new camera for my uh, laptop too so uh, those are some of my big things for uh, the new year for 2019 so all of our lives and training videos are going to look uh, a little bit better uh, hopefully color wise so that is my goal uh, good morning Dina and Roz Thank you for jumping on here. I hope you ladies have some amazing plans for tonight for New Year's Eve um, and you're excited to kick off this new year moving into 2019. So um, I'm just going to go through the exercise for today really fast. And again, if you missed any of them, um, everything is on this page. I did a, a quick little video every day for the exercises. So those are on the page as well as the posts. Um, and so I know today there's a download and yesterday there was a download. So if you don't have the download, if you didn't get it from the email, it is up in the comments for today. And then yesterday's is on yesterday's video as well. So we'll just work through this really quickly today uh, so you can go celebrate the new year. But to me, it's so important to take these couple days as we're moving in to the new year to really kind of get ourselves set up to walk into the new year. Like, um, I always think of myself as if you imagine like a door and uh, uh, or like stepping over uh, into the new year. And if you think about who you are, how you feel, what's going on inside of you as you go from where you are right now, stepping into the new year, you're bringing forward with you um, everything that you're now going to have in the new year and what you're going to create. So if you can get in a good space, if you can have um I'm not, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a New Year's resolution person. I'm going to talk about that a little bit tomorrow. Um, I'm going to jump on and why New Year's resolutions fail um, and how to set yourself up so you don't have that. So I am not a New Year's resolution person. Uh, I am about, you know, taking the time to take a look at your life, where you are right now today, what you want to see differently for the coming year, and then make a plan. Uh, to me saying make a plan, make steps, uh, have action steps, those are things that I relate to really well. Uh, I have just seen for myself personally and um, people I've worked with that when you start talking about a New Year's resolution, the reason those kind of set themselves up to fail is for a lot of different reasons and I'm going to just jump on and talk about that tomorrow since it's the, the new year and I want everyone to have the best year that they can. But so for today, um, we're now on day five, and so today is all about creating a 30-day focus plan. Um, and this is the download for today. Um, oops, that was yesterday's download. Um, and so it's two pages, so there's plenty of room. Uh, so as you can kind of see, I'm all about paper. Uh, and I like to physically write out, especially this time of year, uh, my goals, my focus, my vision, my plans, and I want to handwrite that because I kind of want to burn that, uh, if you will, in my mind so that I have a little more ownership to it than just kind of saying like, oh, my New Year's resolution is I'm going to get healthy or my New Year's resolution is, um, you know, I'm going to 
I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to eat better. Um, you can say it and put it out there, but when you actually sit down and just take a couple minutes to work through and make the plan, once you have it in a plan form, then it is so much easier to follow through with the tasks um, because when you have a reminder there in front of you that you're seeing, you know the exact task that you're working on and what you're focusing on. And again, instead of saying, okay, here's for the whole year, today what we're doing is a 30-day focus plan. Because in instead of making like this big, huge list of like, here's everything I need to change for 2019 or all the things I'm going to have to do for 2019, it's much easier for us psychologically as well as motivationally if we cut it down into a smaller time frame. And instead of trying to have 20 things on that list that we're seeing every day, we want one thing. So that is what today is about. So today is about... Um, I'll just do a quick overview. So we started with day one, which was our pie. Um, and so this is where we are right now, where we're spending the time in our life. And what if you were to kind of look at your life as the pie, where you're spending most of your time, your focus um, and where you are right now today. Then the next day, and I like using different colors. Sorry, um, I'm not an artist, ladies. But so then this became the pie of how we want our life to look. So where we want to get to, how much time we want to be spending in the different aspects and focusing on. So then the next day we went ahead and we did our make your plan worksheet. If you have not done this, um, again, this is available on yesterday. So day four on the live video, you can download it. And these don't take a lot of time, ladies. I mean, this is something you can print off, sit down, uh, and you can go ahead and in like five or 10 minutes work through this worksheet, or you can take as much time as you want to um, and focus to work through that. So then today is the 30 day uh, focus plan. So again, this is now going to be pulling off of yesterday's sheet. So everything has added and built on each other for the entire uh, five day countdown. So every exercise builds on the exercise from the day before, but you can get caught up if you haven't been able to do it. So you need the exercise from yesterday. So your make your plan worksheet. And what this is, is it's where you took the things off of the very first pie that you did. So where you are right now, uh, and you filled that in over here. And then you filled in off of your second pie, which is where you want to get to, what you want your life to look like. So if you were to lay out your perfect day, week, month, where your time is going, where your focus is going, what you're doing. So that goes here. Wait, sorry, I'm, I'm backwards in the camera. Here. Uh, and then what we did on this worksheet is you started to then write out what steps you needed to take to get from where you are right now to where you want to get to. So then you started to fill in steps. Um, you know, it can be uh, alleviating things, uh, changing uh, work. It can be changing uh, habits that you have, changing processes. Um, it can be completely eliminating things out of your life uh, that are taking too much time, causing you stress. So it can be big changes. Um, it can be releasing, letting go of um, toxic friendships, toxic relationships, things in your life. Um, so that was the steps that you were gonna have to take. So that's where that came into play. And then the biggest part about this sheet is how I will feel once I change. So I used this for myself personally last year and it was life-changing. That's why I'm sharing this with you ladies right now as we're moving into the new year. Uh, and focusing how on how it is going to feel when things change is your why. Um, I know I talked about that in the email this morning that went out, but you have to have a why. You have to have a reason, something that's driving you to be doing the things that you want to be doing, especially when you start talking about making changes in your life. Um, it's very easy to say, uh, you know, okay, I want to get healthy. Um, I want to lose weight, I want to eat better, and I want to be healthy. So then you start going into where you are now, today, where you want to get to. Um, so again, I'll share with you because this is a real process for me as well. Um, I did that last year. Um, I started right before New Year's. But so, um, 
and I'll share some pictures with you ladies. I have not, I have never shared this with anybody else. I haven't shared the pictures and stuff, but so uh, I was up to almost 160 pounds, which I know um, everyone is different, but so I am just five foot. So for me, that was a significant difference. Um, that was a significant extra amount of weight for me. So, you know, I decided that um, where I wanted to get to was I said, you know, I wanted to get, I mean, of course I put, I wanted to get back to like 115 where I was, uh, uh, you know, like right out of college uh, or right before I had my daughter. So, um, and then the steps that I had to get there. But so for me to be able to follow through with that, it was the how I will feel once things are done. And that is what, when things get hard, um, you know, and you start to lose your momentum or you start to lose that drive and the motivation and the inspiration to push through when things get hard, knowing how it will feel when you get there is really what keeps you going. It's your why. And you have to have a why for any goal or any change to be successful. If you don't have the why, then you're kind of setting yourself up to fail from the beginning because like again, it's easy to say, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to get from there to here, here's why I want to, but if you don't have a little bit of an emotional attachment to how it is going to feel and what that end result is really going to be, and it's the reminder of why you're doing the things that you're doing, and that's what helps you to push through when things get hard. Um, you know, and I'll be honest with you, uh, so I got, I got down to 119, um, I started at 160. I was down to 119. Um, I've put a couple pounds back on. So that is, as I'm doing this plan, I, am, I have to be very diligent about staying healthy and eating healthy. So I'm kind of going back to this too. Um, but, you know, I'll tell you, it was not easy. I completely 100% changed um, how I ate, my lifestyle, uh, everything. Um, and the hardest part was drastically I kind of did a, a crazy diet so I mean it was drastically cutting out and adjusting what I was allowed to eat um, and that was hard um, you know I'll be honest with you when I started the like right here where I am um, you know at, at 160 so I would just kind of eat whatever I wanted to I would have dessert um, I was a Coke Zero person drank a lot of soda did not drink any water um, basically lived on caffeine um, but uh, so to go and, and go so strict um, you know I cut out absolutely all sugar no soda all I was allowed to have was my um, espresso shots that I changed what I was drinking for my coffee um, and absolutely cut everything out and basically I'll share with you I lived on grilled chicken certain kinds of green vegetables um, and apples for 60 days. That was all I ate. Um, and there were days that it was hard. It was really hard. Well, but, you know, focusing on that, how I will feel uh, once things change is what kept pushing me through, you know, remembering what it would feel like, the confidence, uh, you know, how much better I would feel, how much easier things would be. Uh, you know, even just getting in and out of the Jeeps, things like that. So you have to know your why, because when you wake up on, you know, so say you're on day 60 of major changes that you're making for 2019. When you wake up on that day and it is hard and you don't want to do it anymore and you're like, oh, I just, I'm just going to cheat for today. It won't matter for one day. Those types of things. It is going to be remembering how it's going to feel and how your life is going to be different when you get to that end goal that keeps you going. So I know so many people talk about like willpower and different things like that. And yes, you know, you have to have willpower, but again, it's that bottom line of what really creates willpower. It's the want to get to that place, whatever the end result is and live in that feeling and how your life is different there that is more important than today in the moment. Um, and so to me, that is really what willpower is. And it's kind of harnessing that already living there, knowing how it's going to feel and how life is going to be different. That is what is going to bring you through when you kind of hit the middle, middle part, uh, when it gets really hard. So, um, so today we're taking from the sheet from yesterday. And, um, so in this one from yesterday, you just pulled all the aspects off of your pie 
and listed all the things that you want to change. Um, and you can print as many sheets of this as you need to. But so for today, we're pulling off of that. So I look at this as like your master. So this worksheet from yesterday, the make your plan worksheet is your master. Now we're going to go one step farther. Now we're going to cut it down and we're only going to focus on 30 days. So instead of having this other sheet that has everything that you want to change in your life, everything laid out. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by reading through yesterday's worksheet that has everything off of your pies. So all the different aspects of your life, all the different pieces within that, um, in all these boxes that you want to change, what you need to do. And you're going to read through that. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull one thing. So just one thing to focus on from each of those aspects off of your pie. So, um, you know, like for me, it was work, which was the biggest thing. Um, then I had family time and home. I had Jeep events and rides. I had developing me and then I had health. So those were all the things in my pie. So then what I'm going to do is go through this worksheet from yesterday and just pull one thing out of each of those aspects. So even if you have 30 things listed that you want to change, um, that you want to go from where you are today, you have a goal of where you want to get to, the things you need to change. So even if you had 50 of those, like, so say in work, um, you know, and I'll share a little bit, some of the things that I put in there last year to get from where I was to where I wanted to be was a lot of those changing habits. So, you know, it was not answering phone calls from clients, not returning text messages from clients. I started to have stricter business hours so that um, I could set better boundaries. And that then allowed me to have more focused quality time on the family side. It was changing how often I checked my emails, uh, changing how I scheduled my time. So there was a lot. So when you looked at that long list, what you're gonna do is take this worksheet and every 30 days, so your goal is in 30 days, you're going to have done one aspect out of all that big pie. So in each piece, each aspect, every 30 days, you wanna be able to cross something off that you worked through on your tasks and then you're gonna start over and start a new 30 day plan. So that way you're only focusing on one thing at a time in each of the aspects. You're not gonna have a to-do list um, of things you need to change, you know, for work or for family and home, that's 20, 30 things. That's gonna be on your master. But this now is going to be the focus plan. So it's only one thing. So you're gonna go through, pick one uh, thing out of each aspect. So one task that you're gonna do for each one in the next 30 days. And so this has plenty of room uh, to go through and fill out for the worksheet in each aspect. It has six aspects. If you had more than that on your pie, that's great. You can just go ahead and print this last sheet twice and it'll give you uh, more room to add on to there. But make sure to just pick one thing and then take the time to fill this out. Um, and really what this is gonna do is I'll read through it really quickly because I know I can't hold it up too close to the screen. Well, I guess I can. So um, that might be backwards. <laughs> so really what this is, is your 30 day focus plan. So for the next 30 days, I'm going to focus on. So in blank part of my life. So I'll put work. I'm focused on this action mindset thing I am doing and you'll fill that out. So this is going to be your action. This is your to do your task uh, what it is that you're going to focus on. And then I will focus on all my attention and focus in this aspect of my life on moving forward to where I want to be. By doing the above, I will move closer to where I want to be in this part of my life, which looks like this. So then you're going to fill in what it is going to look like when you change. So when you go from where you are today to where it is that you want to get to by doing this task, this is now what it's going to look like. This is how life will change. So, you know, like, again, for business, for setting better boundaries and changing and interacting with my clients after hours. Um, what did that look like? Well, then that gave me more quality time with my family. I wasn't being interrupted. I knew that after six o'clock, um, I didn't have to check my phone. And unless there was an absolute dire emergency, it had to wait. Uh, 
and then it feels like, and that's going to be important too, is to put down underneath that it what it is going to feel like once you're there. So like for me, um, I'll be honest, it felt like freedom. Like all of a sudden I felt like I had all this extra time. Um, I felt like I had all this freedom. I no longer was having to react. I was setting up a process to work for me. So instead of waiting for clients to call or sending text messages or, um, you know, and sometimes it was random things. Sometimes it was scheduling. Uh, a lot of times it was questions. But by knowing that I didn't have to react right then, uh, I felt all of a sudden like I had all this freedom, all this extra time. When I then uh, went to do something with my daughter, for example, um, if my phone went off, I wasn't, I didn't get that like anxiety stress of like, oh my God, what do I have to deal with right now? You know, I would check it and I'd be like, yeah, and I'd put it away and I'd wait till the next day. So that was a huge step for me. Um, but knowing what that felt like made a difference. So that is what this 30 day focus plan is. So you'll just do that for each aspect, pick one thing. So now you're just going to have one thing to focus on for 30 days. And I recommend keeping this like either on your desk um, or pinning it on a wall, keeping this somewhere where you're going to see it every day to remind you what it is you're working on and focusing on um, so that you are taking that time and that focus for 30 days to make sure that you're doing those steps that you've laid out to get from where you are now to where you want to get to. Uh, and then once this 30 days is over, you'll redo it. So your goal is that every 30 days, you're going to then pick one. So you're always only working on one task in each aspect. You're going to work through it. And again, in 30 days, you'll do the next one. So that the goal would be um, in six months that you would have accomplished in each aspect of your life, changing six things. Um, and then you just keep working on that for the year. But so instead of trying to do a big master of these are all the things that I need to change, uh, this is going to help you to keep more momentum and to keep moving forward. It's going to help you so you, that you don't get overwhelmed, you don't get frustrated, and you don't lose momentum. So everything's going to be a 30-day focus, and it's going to be on one specific thing so that you're not trying to do too many different things at once. Because, again, the more you can simplify the more you can narrow it down to one specific thing that you're focusing on, you're changing and you're working on, you're going to set yourself up for success so that you know you're going to achieve that because that is all you're focused on. So um, thank you for being on here, ladies. I hope these exercises have helped you uh, for this five-day countdown. And again, if you've missed any of the days, um, the live video and the post for each one are on here. They have the downloads and you can work through them. You can come back and revisit them if you want to. But really just take, like I said, these should only take you, I mean, you can sit down and do them in 10 minutes or you can sit down and really focus for an hour. That's totally up to you. But try to make sure um, today or tomorrow or on the second, just take some time to really um, map this out and have a focus plan and see how that's going to change what you get to accomplish in this coming year and how much easier it is um, and then you get to make sure you celebrate all the success so every time you get one of these accomplished you need to celebrate and reward yourself because that's huge um, i know i read somewhere um years ago when i was going through all of this finding everything for myself and they said that only eight percent of the people who set new year's resolutions actually reach and follow through and complete those resolutions. And I was shocked. Um, you know, I mean, think of how many people there are and how many people every year say, okay, I'm gonna do this this year and change this this year. And they put all these things out there and only 8% actually follow through and are able to accomplish their New Year's resolutions. Um, that is such a low number. But so that's why I don't use the word resolutions. Uh, this is about having a plan and tasks. Uh, so it's much easier in my mind for you to work forward and to go ahead and meet those and, and reach those goals. So um, this is a tried and true method. It works. So just follow through, spend a little bit of time, work through that, uh, you know, and make it easy, easy on yourself. Oh, good. I have some, sorry, I haven't seen the comments coming through. Hi, Laura. I'm planning to work on mine tonight. Oh, good, Dina. Yay. 
Exactly. For some things, how it feels is what I remember. And you know, Krista, that is really, if you, you kind of look at how we are hardwired, if you think about a situation, um, and I'll just quick example, I won't be on here forever. But so an example I had somebody tell me years ago was there's a car accident and there are five different people that saw the car accident. When the police officer comes and talks to the five different people, all five different people have a different interpretation of what they saw and what happened. And why is that? It's because we react to how we feel and there are certain aspects that we remember because of how it felt to us. Um, and then those are the things when you look back on, um, you know, I'll be honest, when I look back on when I was like say 12, <laughs> um, the only things that I really strongly remember are the things I remember because of how they felt. I remember how I felt in that moment and sometimes even the details, um, you know, are foggy or hard to remember, but I can tell you like, oh, I remember feeling, you know, so excited. I was so happy and this happened and this is how I felt. And, you know, I'll never forget that. But again, the actual detail details probably are not 100% correct anymore, but how I felt is still there. That's still ingrained in us. So our emotions are there really to guide us. Um, so that is a really a good point, Krista. Yes, it is really more about how we feel than kind of sometimes actual little details and facts of what's happening. I finally caught you live. Oh, good, Brady. Yay, I'm so glad you got to make it on here. This resonates with me for sure. Oh, good, Dina. I love to hear that. So uh, thank you again for being on here. I know it's New Year's Eve day. Uh, so I won't keep everybody. I hope you have great plans. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Um, I'll jump on here quickly tomorrow. I'm going to do a really quick kind of resolutions uh, uh, video for our New Year's Day. And um, if you have time to jump on, that's great. If not, um, I hope you have a happy, happy New Year. And I know we will catch up and I'll see you in 2019. Have a great night. Great day, ladies. Thank you again. Bye.